five for five. Talk about the advantage that gives you guys when you can make those switches on everything in the final five minutes. Some teams can switch, but they don't want to switch with their fives because they're not comfortable with their fives. But we have Oscar, Mozzie, and DC. So DC moves like a guard. Oscar, we can get him to get moving like a guard. And Logan is disciplined. So being able to switch on some of those is definitely easier on the guards, so especially like just not going over every screen, not getting hit by every screen, just switching and just maintaining uh, defensive principles. Taz, you talked about some of the turnovers and that you had one. Yeah, what do you learn when you make mistakes? Are they mistakes you could have gotten away with in the junior college level and you just can't at this level? Uh, that, that one, yeah. I can get away with that in junior, uh, junior college, but that I say it was a good defensive play by him. He tipped the ball, but also a bad pass by me. Uh, I always catch defenders with their hands down, fake a pass, make a pass is what we believe in. So if I was able to do that, then I would, I would complete the pass. Taz, you talk about Derek only played 11 minutes tonight, but had 13 points. How much did things change for you guys when he's out there on the floor? He brings a certain energy. He brings that certain, that like wolfiness. Like he's once he's in a game, you feel his presence, uh, offensively, defensively, whatever. You, you just you feel that Derek Cover is there. As soon as he came in the game, they started double teaming him immediately. And he came in the second half cold, and he came aggressive, and he was just being DC. When did you find out you were gonna start? Uh, right before the game, Coach Harrison told me. Uh, good feeling, but. Whatever role I can have, some role I take on. What are some of the big differences in starting a game at, the D at this level compared to college? Uh, at junior college, I, I'm not gonna say it's just easy, but it's definitely easier than this level. Uh, even when I'm in conference play, yeah, that's a good, that's a good team over there that we just played, and they're not the. I, I'm not gonna say that we just. I can't get by them, but it's definitely easier in, in junior college where you know you could you have certain type of people you can just go straight at, and you know a team you go oh, I can get thirty on this team, I can get forty on this team. It's a whole different mindset when you go to a higher level for sure. You just so, want to be be your fit your role and do you maintain you, but still, it's not it's not like junior college at all. So competition's a factor, obviously, is pace of play. Yeah, definitely pace of play. Uh, this older people, they know more. They're more organized, I want to say. So it's, it's definitely going to be harder than Juco. Did, did you talk to Sean about that? Because obviously he was in Juco last year too. Me and Sean always talk about that. Uh, I just want to know how he slipped under the cracks and went D2 Juco. I don't understand. Uh, but me and Sean always talk about Juco. We always talk about scoring and who we, who had the most impact on their team and all that. I still think I do, but he, he'll have a different opinion about that. <laughs>